what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. And we are back with the nationally syndicated film critic and always stylish <laughs> Ryan J, who is also wearing red in support Loving of women that jacket. and heart disease and stroke. Yeah, you look great. Thank you so much. Always supporting on the inside, but today glad to support with you on the outside. Oh, Cute. I, it. I love that. Okay, let's talk about movies coming out this weekend. I know it's the Oscars on Sunday, but there's always still good movies mm -hmm. potentially around this time. Or maybe not. Yeah, I mean, potentially. Okay, yeah. all right. There's some, some good ones today, yeah. This is what we're gonna see. Okay, so this first one is Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. I like that title. Yeah, yeah. rated R. This is, we're calling it Birds of Prey. It is the spin-off of 2016's uh, Suicide Squad. Yes. And so, you know, now we're in this post-Joker meltdown time of Harley Quinn where she has broken up with Joker and she's out on her own and it's Gotham City and it's a girl group action film. Ooh. Okay. All right. What, so what's up with the cast? Margot Robbie is back and she's a scene stealer. Once again, it really centers around her as Harley Quinn. We've got Ewan McGregor as the villain in this film. You know, he's one of my favorite actors, but she still, she still steals the spotlight. She mm. still steals, okay, the spotlight. Yeah. And this <laughs> Rosie Perez is in it as a police officer. And then a bunch of unknowns too. We've got unknown characters. If you're not big into the comic book universe, uh, like Huntress, Black Canary, and they all kind of come together. It's a rated R action film so there's language there's it's not as gory as like Suicide Squad was okay but there's language and and they're certainly not role models uh, <laughs> okay that's good to know do you uh, how about compared to the first because obviously this is then the sequel Right. Well, I love how it's like, you know, for we're really focusing on women this year, superheroes, because yeah. we don't, we, it was rare to see that happening in the superhero genre at all. We had Wonder Woman. This year, we're also getting Wonder Woman 1984. We're getting Black Widow, her standalone film. We're getting, you know, the new mutants and then this too. So it's, it's less gory than what we saw in Suicide Squad, but uh, I love action films where they reinvent something, where there's a wow factor, when you see something that you've never seen before, usually in like a Mission Impossible or a James Bond type film, there really isn't anything wow happening in this movie. There isn't okay. like an action that you haven't seen before, but it's still really great. And the writing is good, the development is good. I'd say see it, it's still fun. Okay. Well, it'll be interesting to see how it plays into the DC universe, if they're gonna go in the direction of like Marvel did with Avengers, yeah. if we're gonna see these characters fold into a future Justice League or not, will be interesting to see. Wait, you said New Mutants, is that Mutant Ninja Turtles or no? No. Uh, Okay. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's more like X-Men type. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry. What about no. Little Joe? Little Joe is a movie that is theatrically released limited right now in select cities, but playing on demand and uh, digitally. I saw it on iTunes this week, and it's a it's a drama sci-fi film about a botanist single mother who's raising her son. The actress is uh, Emily Beecham, who won she won Best Actress at Cannes Film Festival for this role last year. And I wanted to see it. I like sci-fi, and it's about where she develops a flower that has antidepressant uh, mm. fragrance to it. Oh, that's good. The color is incredible. It's so vibrant. It and is. Here it's obviously dark, yes. but it's like... Everything's very pastel, but yeah. then the flower is primary red. And so it really stands out. The color tells a story and tells the story of the film if you wanted to analyze the set design and oh. also yeah, the, the costuming that way. It's that sort of happiness mm -hmm. element, seeing it. Yeah. Um, is there a happiness question? Well, it raises the question of what is happiness? Like you'd like to think like, oh, if you could achieve happiness, all the time what does that really mean mm. so it's the question of like oh are you just happy like to be happy all the time does it mean you're experiencing what makes you happy or does it just limit what makes you unhappy so yeah it's a, it raises a lot of really interesting questions I do have to tell you though there's something horrible about this movie and that's the score Oh, it's, the music's yeah, it's, bad? The music is so bad. It's migraine inducing. You have to separate that. I'm st oh. I still like the movie but the score is literally just a, like a child's recorder uh, high-pitched ringing sound, oh. dogs barking, and then loud explosive type noises. It's so disconcerting every time you hear it that it's like you want to separate it out. But aside from that, I'd say stream it. If you like science fiction, it's a fun movie to watch, but that score is horrible. It's literally like I could have done the score better. You could, anyone, and we all could have done the score better because it's literally just that bad of a score. Wow. Oh, yeah. so, I've never heard yeah, you say that. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. All right, rip through your movie clubs if you would. Yes, the first one is Downhill, and I actually have some um, Classy Girl Cupcakes in Yum. honor of the film. So this Cute. is a down, um, Monday, February 10th at 7 p.m. Downhill's the new Will Ferrell and uh, what's her name? 
Don't know. Yeah, you do. She was Elaine in. Uh, oh, oh, Julia Louis Louis Dreyfus. Dreyfus. Yes, yeah, thank yeah. you. I was just telling. I was saying her name I all was morning like, long. I don't and know. I so we have some cupcakes in celebration of that film, but we have Yum. a second one on Wednesday for the photograph, which is the new Issa Rae, and um, his name is, I'll tell you, Lakeith Stanfield from Get Out. Uh, <laughs> Wednesday, February 12th at 7 p.m. So two movie clubs next week if you want to join me. Yeah, Thank there you, you go. You can like Ryan J on Facebook, follow him on Instagram and Twitter for his full re reviews, though. You have to go to his website, ryanjreviews.com. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Up next.